Now, while the IEBC says that it is ready and financially capable to hold by-elections in Kangema, Kajadu North and Diwa constituencies, House Speaker Kenneth Marende says that there is no law that expressly allows him to declare these seats of vacant because the Elections Act suspended the provisions allowing him to do so until after the first general election under this current constitution. The Elections Act repealed uh, the National Assembly and Presidential Elections Act without making provision for the holding of by-elections. Uh, I think it was an oversight. But with each by-election costing you, the taxpayer, at least 50 million shillings, it raises more questions on whether these constituencies will really miss three to four months' representation as the general election draws ever so near. The dilemma could only be resolved by the Attorney General Getumui Gai by moving an amendment to introduce a new section in the Elections Act that allows the Speaker to declare the seats vacant. But how this section was overlooked even as the Election Act was signed into law remains all the more questionable. Now, until the miscellaneous amendments bill that Kibaki rejected and sent back to Parliament passes and is enacted, these seats will have to remain vacant a little while longer. And even when that happens, there will be 90 days for the IEBC to prepare. And therefore, these by-elections at best can happen in September of this year. Jackie Maribe for News at 8 in Nairobi.